Welcome back to McPhee Ford, and today we're taking a look at this brand new 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. The all new F-150 for the 21 model year has a lot of nice new changes to it, completely redesigned. This is the Lariat trim, so the mid-tier, a lot of nice features. Let's take a look at some of them. First off, you'll notice if you do have the truck locked and you have the key in your hand, when you walk up to it, it puts the running boards down for you, turns the lights on, it's, it, detects, it detects the key near its presence, which is really cool. This has the chrome package on it. So you get the chrome wheels, handles, and the running board. You also got the chrome mirrors with their side lights. Getting on inside, you do have intelligent access door handles. So as soon as you put your hand on the key, or on the door with the key in you, it unlocks. You've got blind spot on the mirrors there, and then you've got your power window controls, power mirror, power folding mirror, and your memory seating controls. The nice wood grain here. Nice leather and cloth combination built in to this. You've got the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Sounds really good. To the left of the steering wheel, you have your, your mirror lights, your tailgate drop, your bed lighting, your headlights, dimming and dimming down, electric parking brake, power adjustable foot pedals, and then you've also got tilt and telescopic power steering wheel. These seats are leather heated and cooling with uh, lumbar for both passenger and driver, fully powered, 10-way. Let's go on, go on in. You do have your new infotainment system here. If you push to start, you can hear that 5-liter V8 roar to life. You've got your nice 8-inch display digital in front of you here with a lot of settings. You've got my view, so you can set this up to have whatever you'd like on here. You've got trip and fuel settings, truck info, so this is where you can view tire pressure, off-road, power distribution, your engine information, seat belts, and your driver's assistance, which is really helpful to see. You do have a lot of driver's assistance in this truck. You've got towing, navigation you can put up here, so if you have a route you're going to, you can put it up right in front of you here. For example, if we go to points of interest, gas station, It'll show you the next gas station. Open traffic laws. Be and alert puts and use voice commands while driving. Onto the Please proceed screen to for the you here. Road. Just like so. Go ahead and get rid of that. Also, you've got phone, audio, and vehicle settings as well in here. Configure your gauges, eco coach, border crossing. There's a lot of customizable features in this digital display. It looks really good too. Very easy to read. On the left is your RPMs. On the right is your speed. Down below is other information such as temperature, kilometers, lighting controls, etc. Your wind, uh, your blinker stock and your wiper stock here. And then on the steering wheel, you've got adaptive cruise, lane keep assist, volume controls, voice command, and then you've got other media controls on this side. Moving over to the giant 12-inch display with Sync 4 built in. You do have a lot of nice features in Sync 4, as one we've noticed already, the navigation. So you can go to points of interest, recent destinations, uh, set up a home and a work address so it can take you there with no problem. Going to audio, you do have satellite radio built in with Sirius XM. And this is also a split screen, so if you want to have your navigation on the side here while you're changing the radio station, you can. You can also switch those two around very quickly. You can set up favorites. So if you have favorite apps you want to go into all the time, you can set them in here so it's very quickly, easily to access. You have messaging system. You've got email. You can put it down here various other apps and you've got vehicle settings this is where you can control your sync navigation your wi-fi connectivity uh, your general settings as well you've got vehicle settings go in and turn off the rear occupant alert or turn it on your max idle alarm system remote start setup general settings you've got vehicle hotspot you can go into the general here and get all your touch screen beeps it really is very customizable and you've got truck features this is where your driver's assistance is so you can go and see how you have auto hold, adaptive cruise, speed limit assist, lane keep, pre-collision, rear parkade, blind spot, parkade sensors. There's a lot over there. You've got zone lighting. What this does is it turns on all the exterior lights of the truck at nighttime so you can light up your surroundings. So if I tilt over here, you'll notice over here all these lights are on currently. For example, the truck bed. Hard to see because it's very light in here, but... It turns them all on and off, which is cool if you're ever at a campsite and you need to light the place up with your vehicle. You can control your power running boards here, so approach de detection, which is what I showed at the beginning. 
kick switch, which I'll show you in a sec, and then running board modes. You have auto timer out, so you can keep them out all the time, put them on auto, or you can turn them off. And then lastly, you do have your own owner's manual. So that's the Sync 4 system. Above that, you've got auto start stop. You've got your front facing camera here, which is good for your front park aid. You can turn on auto park. You can turn the sensors off and on if you'd like. You can zoom into your 360 cam here. You've got various controls around you. This is a 360 degree of the, the truck itself, so your surroundings, which is nice to see if you're backing into a tight space. Four-way flashers, hill assist, and your traction control. Moving downwards, you do have your dual zone climate with heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel. Beside that, you have your drive modes, four high, two high, four automatic, and four low with a locking differential. Your drive modes do change with the display. So you've got a lot of different modes in here. This truck is capable of a lot of different things and it's very dynamic. Very nice to see. You've got sport and all the off-road modes you would need. Also not to mention there is ambient lighting in here as well, which is nice to see at nighttime. It looks really nice in the vehicle actually. So if I can find it in here for you guys so I can show you the ambient lighting. Yeah, you've got your brightness here, so then you've got your cup holders, the door wells under your feet here, and your handles. Moving into the center console, you've got your fold flat shifter for if you have the interior work surface, which basically the center console folds flat, so you can put a laptop on it. This one does not have that. Down below, you've got a cubby with two USB ports and a spot for your phone. And you've got your massive center console. Up top, auto dimming rearview mirror, place for your sunglasses, and then controls for your Panama... Uh, twin panel moonroof sorry taking a look towards the back of the Lariat F-150 you've got your chrome wheels your chrome rear bumper with your rear park sensors along the back and you've got some various zone lighting controls you see your zone light here and then you have it up there as well getting in the tailgate right above the right below the rear view camera you've got your tailgate step built in here to help get into the back of the tailgate. And then on the tailgate itself is the work surface. This is a new thing for the Ford F-150s. Basically a workbench built into your tailgates. So you've got measurements, you've got clamp points here. You've even got a bottle opener if you get thirsty. It's really helpful if you're on the job and you need some work done on a bench and you don't have it. Also, you've got your LED lighting in here for the entire box. And then you've got a 400 watt output so you can charge any power tools or even a mini fridge on the go. Getting into the back area now, do you want to notice you have these kick plates on the running board? Just kick that, and it comes down for you if you don't want to get into the truck, but you need to get into the truck bed because this is extended now, so you can just step up and then get in. Checking at the back seating area, you do have the same design on the door sills. You get your cup holder, ambient lighting, your speaker, another cup holder up here. Leather seating in the rear, it's a 60-40 split, so you can fold this up and you can increase your storage in the back a lot if you don't need any passengers but you have a lot of tools put the seats up and you get a lot of space behind this seat is your spare tire jack and your fuel nozzle getting on inside very spacious it is a super crew so you do have a lot of space back here you've got storage in front of you and then you have two cup holders rear heated seats for your rear passengers a 12 volt outlet uh, you've got some vents here that are controlled You've got two more USB ports and a household plug, as well as up front. I forgot to mention that. They're just over there for the passenger. You can charge your devices. There's eight cup holders in here, a lot of power points. So everyone in this truck is going to be happy and cozy. You've got a nice fold-down armrest with your built-in cup holders. So two of the eight. And for your rear passengers, they get a very nice view of the twin panel moonroof located above. Moving up towards the front now, this is the biggest change. You do have your front end redesign with your new C-Cup headlights, with your LED lighting system. So you've got high beams, low beams, and fog lights built in down there into the chrome front bumper and chrome grill with active grill shutters. You've got tow hooks up front, and you also have your front view camera I showed you earlier. So all around a fantastic F-150, and like gorgeous color red. So make sure to come on over to McPhee Ford to get your hands on this F-150 today. As always, thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.